Welcome back to Lego by the Book. I am Captain Xavier, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of this series. Um, twice a week, hopefully. Tuesdays will be new sets, inbox, that I've been sent or that I've been acquired. And then Thursdays will be a throwback to vintage sets from my childhood uh, that I've been building to uh, put on display here in the Lego room. Um, and, uh, yeah. Obviously, you guys can send me sets and I will build them. You can also recommend vintage sets and I will see about whether I had them and can build them or if I have the parts to build them or if I'm willing to acquire the parts to build them. So, yeah. But it turns out the backlog I had of sets was really quite ridiculous. I didn't realize how far behind I was until I actually started organizing it here and realized I had two shelvefuls of sets that had been sent to me that I'd acquired that I had never gotten around to building, so I'ma build them. Obviously, the, the first one since I moved here was the uh, Barracuda Bay, which is just a fantastic set. I was also given this one. I, I, I want to say it was given to me at the PSU Invitational. I could be wrong, but I, uh, and if I am, I'm a schmuck. Uh, that's one of the, the really annoying things about having failed to get those built when I should have is I have no idea who sent me what anymore. But I'm going to catalog them all in a spreadsheet and then I will randomly pick one uh, each week to build. And in the future, if you guys are actually still willing to send me stuff, uh, I will put your name by the, the, the set in the spreadsheet so I give you proper credit. <laughs> anyway. What we have here is an absolutely amazing set. This is set 21313, and it is a ship in a bottle. And it is so cool looking. This, when it's done, I will probably put... I am very tempted to put this on display on my mantle down in my living room rather than up here in the Lego room just because of how cool it is. So, let's get this thing built. We have the instruction book. And since this is one of the ideas books, it... Uh, Let's you know who the fan designer was, a little bit about them, the guys who actually then designed the model, because what he was able to do is different than what they can do, because they can get, you know, parts created that didn't even exist before. Um, yeah. And they've got it in a whole bunch of different languages. All right. So, naturally, we start with bag number one, which appears to be... The Tiny Boat. All right. And there we have it. The Tiny Ship. That's actually remarkably detailed for its size. I like how they did the, the slopes. It's got cannons with actual cannon flaps. Um, sails. Fancy sails. I may end up absconding one of them to be a sign for one of the things in the castle and just replace one of them with a regular white one. Got a tiny flag. Little crow's nest. It's adorable. It was a plethora of spare parts because this is made entirely of the types of little parts that you typically get spare parts of. So that is cool. Now let's put them somewhere else entirely so they don't get muddled. There we go. All right. The ship is built. See what's in. I see. Now it seems we build the bottle. Another bag down and we have half of the bottle created with the ship in it. One clear spare part. That was a lot of clear parts. On to the final bag. And there we have the ship in the bottle. It's even got a little wax seal on the stopper. Super cool! Alright. Ah, 
And there it is. A lovely stand. Let's see if we can get it to focus closer up. Yes. A stand with the ship's name, the Leviathan. It's got like said, a seal. It's got water on the inside. Nothing actually holds it on. It's just placed, but it kind of locks into place. And uh, it is super, super cool. I do have the sails pointing the wrong direction, though. Well, actually, I could just do that. There we go. Now the sails are pointed in a way that you can actually see them when they're in there. It's got a compass underneath on the stand. The spindle that spins. There was a spare one of those gold harpoons. A couple other random spare parts, of course, because there always are. A pair of globes. I think that's actually really cool. And you can have them set up. They rotate so you can show the new world and the old world. And it's it's really cool. So yeah, this will go on display somewhere. I'm very tempted to actually put it on my mantle down in my what will eventually be my study. And uh, yeah, so I do not remember who gave me this. Whoever you are, you were awesome. Let me know who you were so that I can tell you that you're awesome in a more personal manner than me just saying you're awesome. Um, very, very cool set. The ideas stuff is just so cool that they take ideas that people have come up with and then modify them, you know, to be a, a more well-rounded set, given that they have the ability to create parts that didn't exist before and stuff in colors that didn't exist before and all the little details like the plaque and the, the globe and that. All those, those are things that... Uh, us mere builders don't necessarily have access to, whereas the company does. Move that over to the other side. Oh, yeah, super cool. Super, super cool. I think I might try. Oh, we'll see if I have time to, to dredge up the parts, but I think for Thursday, I'd like to do the original Black Seas Barracuda. I know I have the I have two of the set, I believe. I don't know if I have all of the sails anymore. But I think given that we did the, the Barracuda Bay last time and we did this ship, I think I will do that one next just to stick with the pirate theme and then I will start randomizing it. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you for watching.